Right here with Laura Davies, a round of two under 70, a nice birdie on 18. This is a beast of a golf course. How do you make it around in two under today? Well, you've got a lot of good shots. You've got to putt well because the greens are magnificent, but they're incredibly fast. So I putted really lovely on the back on the front nine and then missed three short ones on the back nine, which was a bit disappointing, but I would a lovely putt over on 17 and then obviously disappointed not to eagle the last having hit such a good shot in. But that's the key, really. Uh, hit fairways and greens and, and try and hold some putts. Could you tell us about the last two holes, the uh, the short putt there on 17 and then what you did here, 18? Um, yeah, there, there was... Um, well, it was a par on 17, par putt on 17, just... Oh, it was only a, I mean, I made it. That, that one I made, it was 16. I hold about a, oh, a good 30-footer, a little snake left to right. Uh, just dropped in the front door, so that was a bonus, really, because I'm not a big fan of that hole visually. It's for me. I mean, it's a good hole, but it doesn't set up, so a birdie was good there. And then didn't hit a great drive. Kicked off the hill into the fairway. Had 220 um, with all the uphill and everything, and it was perfect for the three-wood into the wind, and probably one of the best three-woods I've ever hit there. So uh, six, well, probably eight feet, but missed it. It was a shame. But still, a great round. How are you? Th these hills are beating all of us. How are yeah. you? And I mean, Trish on the bag too. How yeah. are you guys managing out there? Well, it's obviously a lot harder for Trish. You know, she's she's uh, no spring chicken either. But uh, yeah, it's just to be fair, it's it's tough walking. But it's the same for everyone. Doesn't matter how old you are, really. You've still got to get round. And in a tournament round, you don't notice the hills. I must admit, in practice the other day, I found it really exhausting. But when you're playing and you're you're trying to hit good shots. You don't really notice the hills. Maybe if you're not playing so well, you notice the hills. But today, because I was hitting it good, it was it was just a lovely, even keel, and uh, the pace of play was really good. Um, what's it like having Trish on the bag? That seems like a lot yeah, of Yeah, well, you know, it's her first first time caddying in an LPGA event. She caddied a couple of times in British Open qualifiers and stuff like that for other mates. Um, yeah, she had a week off this week, and to my surprise, she said, oh, you haven't got a caddy, what about if I caddy? So... You know, I, I, at, the t at that time, we didn't know we were on this golf course. Maybe if we'd known this, she might not have come because obviously she's got tournaments to play herself. So I keep saying, don't do yourself any damage. So if her back's starting to feel tender, she might have to give it up. But she's as stubborn as I am. She'll still be here at the end. Is she helping you out on putts? And your yeah, very much so. Yeah, she's a, she's a great putter. I'm not a great green reader, not a great putter. And I think maybe that's why I putted well today because um, she just gives you confidence with the line. And I, I did hit a lot of good putts, I have to say. And last question, just looking back at Solheim Cup week, had a time, some time to reflect on that. We've got Carlotta up at the top of the leaderboard. It yeah. was a pretty awesome week for Europe. What are your takeaways? Well, yeah, I mean, for me, it's the easiest week of the year. I just swan around in a cart and just say good luck to everyone and pat everyone on the back and say keep going when they're down in their match. And it's just fun, fun to watch from inside the ropes. All right, I had to do a little bit of work with the captain and maybe give some, some advice. I don't know if she listened to much of it. I wouldn't blame her if she didn't, but... Overall, they just played so well. I mean, they, they, they hold the putts at the really vital times, and I think the shot that uh, Mel Reed hit in on Saturday, or Sunday as it was, because Monday finished, um, just to nick that point at the end made a huge difference in the singles. So, yeah, uh, th they all came through, though. Every player did something. Even even Popov taking her match from Dormy 6 down, taking it up the 16th. It's good for the rest of the team to see everyone fighting. Absolutely. Well, go put your feet up, get some rest. We'll Don't see you tomorrow. Worry. See ya. <laughs> Thanks, Laura.